Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we are just south of Daytona Beach at the Ponce Inlet Lighthouse and Museum. Here in a few minutes I'm going to take you guys inside the building and we're going to go up to the top of this lighthouse. All right, we paid $6.95 to uh, tour the grounds here and go up into the lighthouse. I think they said there's eight different museums on this property. Video woodshed. So let's go over here and do the lighthouse first. It's probably gonna be really busy. All kinds of stuff to look at. You guys ready to go to the top? I know I am. It's 200 and some steps. 1887. Let's see some of the facts. If you guys want to read this more, just pause the video. You guys ready? How are you getting back now? One eternity later. Alright guys, we made it to the top. Alright, let's take a 360 tour from the top here. Put down the parking lot. Actually, see my truck from here. So let's go all the way around. So you guys can see the full view. Looking east into the Atlantic. There's just so many people up here today, it's hard to get shots of the hammock. But, here in a moment we'll go ahead and go back down to the bottom, then we'll go uh, walk some of the museums. Looks like we can go, no, can't go up any further. And this is still a working lighthouse. Okay, we made it back down from out there. I didn't really have you guys on coming down because I was afraid I was going to fall. I don't exactly have a good hip anyway. Uh, at the pump house. Looks pretty nice. 
Got a museum off to the right, which we'll go and check that out here in a minute. Walk around here, we'll check out some of these other buildings. Check out, it's like the generator building. The generator room. The generator there. Tools. Oops. I think you're allowed in here. Radio beacons, radio transmitters, typewriter, How about World War II. World War I. Hopefully we don't get copyrighted for the music. World War One Army uniform. That's nice. Alright, let's get out of here before we catch a copyright. Okay, we're inside one of the museums. Now, hold up. Canoe, probably made by the Seminoles. I'll just quickly scan over this. If you guys want to read the wording, just uh, pause the video. Over here, I'll take a picture of us. Like, 
Smart smart. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Remington rifle. About the pantry. Some old irons and pots. I'll tell you, this place is way bigger than I thought it was. Big bronze bell, 1,000 pounder. Let's go inside here and take a look around. of illumination, different kinds of lights. This, so this big light was installed in Canaveral in 1868 and was removed in 1993. Let's look back at the light that was here in Canaveral. Look at that thing, it's massive. And right now we're the only people in this building, which is really, really nice. So let's look at it from this angle. 
Things are beautiful. Light. I love it. All right. We'll go outside here in a moment and we'll check out what other museums are on the property. I know there's at least a few more we have not got to yet today. Here's uh, an anchor, possibly made in Portugal in the 16th century. And it looks like it was lost somewhere here around Cape Canaveral in 1565. Uh, here's another one. 1830 to 1860, this one was built. Estimated, of course. The oil storage house. Can't go in here. But. Cuban refugee rafts. Alright guys, this will do it for today's episode here and exploring Central Florida here at the Ponce Inlet Lighthouse and Museum. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you liked it, give the uh, video a like, hit that subscribe button if you haven't already, and share these videos with your friends. It really helps the channel out. I appreciate it and I'll see y'all next week.